So this next video will be about organizing some of this stuff. As you scroll through your sketch, you're going to see all of these functions. There's so much stuff here, and it can get kind of um, bogged down a little bit. There's just so many things going on. And so what we can do is we can actually create some additional files to store them in. And these are called header files. And it's a C++ file, so things work a little bit differently there but it can be useful because it can take stuff that we don't really need to interact with very often and put it somewhere else where we can reference it or change it if we need to but is out of the way when we don't need it so what we're going to do and to the first thing I'm going to delete this readme file you can probably I mean it can be good to use but for now we're not going to use that so we're going to add a tab and what we're going to call this tab is move functions and since it's a header file we say dot h okay and so there it is so the next thing that we're going to do so we include the servo we include the stepper library and now we're going to go pound include and instead of using those little triangles we're going to use quotes and we're going to type in the name of the file move functions dot h so all of the move functions we're going to move into this file right here and in addition we're going to take all of these initializations and move them to so basically everything between the include statement and the setup we're going to move so we're going to cut that and we're going to move all that into here and we're going to paste it right there not gonna let me do it. There you go. Um, also, before you start, if you haven't done this yet, you might want to save and maybe um, if you want, you can do save as to make a copy of it. Okay, before you um, really get into it, just in, and just so that if you make changes here that you don't want to make, you don't have to. Or you can make a duplicate, just so that any changes you make you don't have to undo them later if you're not satisfied with them so anyway um, so all that stuff I moved over I'm gonna go ahead I cut it so it took it out and then basically I'm just gonna take everything after the loop and move that over as well the whole thing so cut and gonna go ahead and paste it here okay and let's go ahead and verify make sure everything's good All right, looks like we're good. Okay, so go ahead and test it out by maybe doing something like you could use your setup to draw a polygon or something like that. You see these things are still in the setup, the draw poly function, polygon function we're using. The one thing I'd recommend is still keeping a list of all of your functions up here so that as you're working, depending on what you need to do, you can look and just kind of check, remember how the function to work. And so I I lost the let's see draw oh I have draw polygon right there okay or you could do like arc left or arc right or something right here okay I'm actually gonna make one more change so we're gonna make another header file so we'll add a tab and we'll call this one draw functions okay dot h and what this is going to be is any function where we are drawing something okay and so that way you can basically every time you draw something you should make it into a function and that way you can keep all of those drawings you've created okay and then you can just reference them when you want to you can add them to your list up here and so on now one thing I didn't mention if you verify here and it doesn't work then one thing that matters in these header files is the sequence. So for example, in this forward function, we use this thing called step count. Or we use, um, yeah, we use this function called distance to steps in order to convert the distance into a step count. Okay, if we call this function, it has to be before the forward 
All right, sorry for the jump there. I actually was exploring this a little bit more, and that may not be the case. So um, for now, we're not going to worry too much about it. Um, if you do start getting errors, that could be why, um, and we'll, we'll take a closer look. Okay, so over in the draw functions, we don't have a bunch of them, but what we do have, we'll use the calibrate function here. I lost it. So we'll, let's go ahead and move over the calibrate because that's a drawing that we made. So put the calibrate function here. Okay. Let's put also the um, square function or triangle functions or polygon functions if you drew any of those. Okay. And any function that you have where it's not explicitly moving it, if it's moving it in like a specific shape now, then I recommend moving that over. I'm going to leave the arc left and arc right functions because to me those are, even though those are kind of combinations of like drawing like a circle or something, um, they're still general enough that you might use them in a shape. It doesn't matter if you want to put them here, you can. But now, as you draw more and more complex shapes, I want you to start adding them to this file here. So we have all of our move functions here. We have all of our draw functions here. So let's say that I do some work and I make a function here. So when I build the function, I'll put it here. So let's say a function called like um, void hexagon flower or something like that. Okay. And we have some kind of series of steps. Okay, and it's going to be however long it is. Well, when I'm going to test it here, draw it, use it. When I'm done writing it, I'm going to move it into my draw functions file, and I'm going to add it to my list. So hexagon flower. Okay, put any necessary arguments, and maybe even give a note that. Draws a series of hexagons that go around in a circle or something like that. Okay, and so if you give notes to yourself here and stuff so that when you go back to it, you know what it is. Okay, hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully it made sense. And now you have this kind of like clean work area. And you know that when you need to make changes, if you want to change the motor speeds, if you want to connect the motors differently, if you want to move the servo to a different pin, if you want to use more place values for pi, if you want to tweak your calibration, you could tweak those here. And if you want to make changes to the function, so like if you had it pulling up and dropping down the pin for your left and right functions, or if you wanted to try to use more values for than 40 for arc left and arc right, you could do that too. If you want to change the slow speed for those, you could. All those things you can do here, but you don't have to sit and look at this the big mess of them here in your initial function or your initial sketch. And then same thing, all the draw functions here. Okay.